green tea. Hello, friends. Josh just gave me back our passports. And I got to put them in actually one of the trusty items that I'm going to show you. Um, I've had, we've had so many different trips and adventures in our life. Today we go to Guatemala. We're going to the beach in Guatemala. Um, basically all of my mom's family is there, so I'm super looking forward to that. And uh, beyond that, um, I think I started traveling when I was 12. At 16, I um, went to France and stayed there for, or lived there for a month with the family, then went back at 21 and studied in Madrid. And um, I share that because I, you know, as I think back and sort of reminisce to who I am now, and you know, my mom before she passed away, she, well, for years had called me, and then once I met Josh, she called Josh as well. Um, you know, her gypsies. And that's definitely true. I am definitely a gypsy at heart. And I think one of the reasons I am a gypsy at heart um, and why I've had sort of, you know, this experience to sort of tell you, I want to talk about experience and then I also want to tell you some of the things that I like do not leave home without when I travel um, is that, you know, being this or the reason that I feel like I have been this gypsy or my mom, you know, called a gypsy is that I have seen the power or have seen the value of having experience, meaning having a, or, or being sort of a direct participant, you know, directly participating in my life. So it's not so much that it's been about travel, it's not so much that it's been about going to this place or that place. It's um, really, you know, ever since I was 12, um, you know, just really feeling, it's not so much about seeing, it's, a, it's about feeling the value of having experiences and feeling the value that those, you know, the creation of experiences have for not just me as a mother, not just me as a business owner, not just me as a woman on purpose, not just me as a woman who is healing, not just me as a woman who is healing from grief, um, and, uh, you know, and not just someone, again, who wants to experience a new place, but really understanding that when I directly participate in my life, so again, it's not so much about visiting particular places, but directly participating in my life. Like, that is the value of um, experience. And the other, you know, thought that I had as I, as I was sitting here, Josh is going to get me some green tea so I can take on the flight because we're boarding in about 10 minutes, um, is that having experiences, you know, in other words, being directly or being sort of um, motivated to directly participate in your life um, really helps you increase the amount of energy that you have inside. So there's this connection between experience, um, this connection definitely between sort of creating the experience, planning the experience, whether it's for you, for your family, for your clients. Um, but, uh, but this connection between experience and energy, meaning, you know, I used to for, forever and forever with my uh, business or I should say success coaching clients and, you know, my brand, authentic branding clients, I would say, you know, people buy you, um, you know, before they buy your products and services. And I still believe that to be true. However, I have seen over the last, I would say, three, four, five years that truly what people are buying, or I should say sort of um, uh, buying into, so to speak, is your energy. And so how do we, how do you and I as business owners, as women, you know, uh, wanting meaning in our lives and women on purpose and, and just people on purpose, how do we do that? Well, we, you know, we, we keep our energy vibing high. We keep our energy up um, by getting out into the world. And again, it does not have to be, you know, that you're actually going even very far, but getting out from behind our computers, you know, sort of like the come out, come out wherever you are, which we were at my brother-in-law's house and um, hi, Carrie. And, uh, and basically, I was laughing because I wrote down, and I thought, oh, I have to do a live stream on this at some point. This, you know, that whole, like, come out, come out wherever you are, you know, uh, in, uh, when you're playing with your child or with your children. And it's so true. Like, so many of us hide behind our computers these days. We hide behind our text messages. We hide even potentially, you know, behind our live streams, um, uh, you know, where instead of, you know, hiding, we can really choose to... 
uh, decide to directly participate in our lives, meaning creating these experiences with our families, with our clients, where we are actually face to face, where we are you know, uh, truly having a direct experience of, of, of each other because that's really what it's about. It's experience in yourselves, right? Every time that you get out on a hike or, you know, with us going to Guatemala, or I think last year this, at this exact time we were headed to London. Um, but even like when I just go and, you know, get out from behind my computer, get out from, you know, sort of the typical day-to-day -day stuff, even though that is sort of my typical day-to-day -day stuff, um, you know, whenever we have that, uh, whenever we participate in our lives, actively participate in our lives, even when that thing that we're participating in is slightly uncomfortable. You know, I know for a lot of clients, like maybe getting on video or doing a live stream is uncomfortable, but guess what? You're directly participating in your life. For some people, traveling is not very comfortable um, or, you know, fill in the blank. Um, and, and obviously, you know, you know, you choose what, what the experience that is correct for you. But, you know, the, the sort of idea here is to decide what is really feeling on purpose for you and being directly, like, again, participating. Um, in your life in a whole new way and hopefully really bringing people along with you. You know, this is something that um, I have really committed to, committed to long ago, but then also now in the sense that, um, you know, long are the days of any of us hiding behind our computers. Like I, in 2018, I am committing to, you know, creating a lot more experiences for my clients, travel experiences, creative experiences, ways, again, ways for women, ways for all of us, um, you know, to, uh, to increase our energy, to sort of get new information, new wisdom into ourselves so that we can turn around in other parts of our life and actually have something to show for it, in other words. Um, in other words, you know, to have something to say. The more experiences that we have, the more that we have to say, meaning the more perspective we have, the more wisdom we have, the more that we can sort of compare and contrast. You know, so experience really helps us do that. Um, and um, I was gonna say that it is that energy. You know, I was sharing just a few minutes ago about how I used to say people buy, you know, you, meaning they buy you as a person, you know, your authenticity, your honesty that they buy you long before they buy your products and services. You know, I've always said that, and you've heard probably a lot of people say something to that effect or probably something very similar, like almost exactly the same um, in business. And I'm so clear now that guess what people actually buy or buy into? They buy into your energy. How do you keep, how do you get and keep your energy high? Well, you do that by getting out and experiencing your life in a new way. So sort of like, you know, let's say you are the type that travels a ton. Let's say you are the type that does all the things that have, that you've always done, right? You go to yoga, you you travel, you um, you know, you do sort of, you know, you you live, meaning you feel alive. But what if, like, especially in now, and you don't have to wait for 2018 to do this. But I think we get really we get really comfortable doing the things we've always done, right? So even though they make us feel alive, we get really comfortable doing the things we've always done. So the, the, the feeling that I know that I'm gonna be pushing myself into as well this next year, and, and right literally starting now, starting yesterday, starting a week ago, is um, you know, creating experiences that I'm not used to. Creating experiences, not just for myself, but for my clients, for my son, for my husband, um, that I am not used to. Experiences that are uncomfortable, potentially, at first. Pot experiences that are potentially, you know, a little bit, um, uh, yeah, uncomfortable, you know, not known, um, that I'm potentially a little bit afraid of. Like, I don't know if, if some of you guys heard one of my last live streams, the, the book that I'm committing to write, writing about death, because I've had a lot of experience, meaning with uh, my immediate family members since I was a little girl passing. My father, my grandmother who was my mom for many years, my grandfather uh, who I lived with, uh, and now my mother and my brother. One of the experiences that I'm going to create for myself and therefore for other people is in this sort of research that I'm going to be doing for this book around death, I am going to take someone with me, meaning I am going to take a stranger, uh, you know, someone who is either chronically ill or I do hospice work every week, so potentially it might be a hospice patient who um, maybe has been given a year to live or so, but can still travel. And I'm so committed to, as you know, and I can feel sort of my heart beating 
a little bit faster as I say that because it's something really in the unknown. Like it's something that I've never done before. It's something a little bit scary. You know, can I handle that? Meaning, will I be able to support someone who might need a lot of help on this trip? And, and the answer is yes, absolutely, absolutely I can. But of course, you know, we feel that sort of um, that, uh, yeah, all those emotions, you know, that sort of uncertainty inside. And yet I know um, that that is a, the type of experience, especially, you know, when I think about creating this book, uh, writing this book, is, you know, that I get to. I get to create an experience like this, not just for myself in writing the book and in going to India and to Africa and to different parts of the U.S. and to Central and South America to learn about how those cultures, how our different cultures around the world do death, and in other words, do life, and take someone with me and have them come with me to learn these different things that then I will eventually put into this book. So that's just an example of one experience that hopefully you can sort of take into your own life um, and think to yourself, well, yeah, how can I, you know, how can I use that filter of, well, what's the experience that would actually make me feel a little bit uncomfortable, that would actually make me feel alive in this way of like, ooh, I might feel a little bit of fear, um, you know, inside, but I'm going to do it anyway, because why? Why, you know, the why is, of course, because my energy is going to rise in a new way, because I'm going to, you know, be able to accept and appreciate, hopefully, sort of this new perspective. Um, you know, this, um, and again, because of, be, because it is actually, you know, causing you to feel a little bit of fear, causing you to feel like maybe it can't be done. That's sometimes exactly the reason to do it. That is when we grow emotionally speaking, spiritually speaking, even physically speaking. Um, you know, that is truly when we grow. So I want to show you guys, um, some of the things now that I've shared that with you, I want to show you some of the things that I do not leave home without. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Nikki. I'm just saying hi to some of you who are on. Hi, Sylvia. So good to see you guys here. For those of you who hopped on late, hi, Mora. Hi, Velvet. Hi, Beryl. Hi, Jules. Hi, Jules. Um, all right. So here are some of the things that I do not travel without. All right. So hopefully you can see. Um, so see this little, oops, hold the phone. Hold it. <laughs> this is funny. Okay. See this little, um, I don't know if you can tell, but it is, okay, so it's not a fanny pack, folks. It's, it's actually like a really beautiful little leather purse that's like a belt, but I mean, it, it is kind of like a fanny pack, but a modern one. So I put, you know, obviously the passports in here. Um, I never, ever leave home without this thing. I mean, I've used it. I've gone to Iceland with it. I've gone to Peru and Colombia and all these different places. And it's just so easy. Instead of, like, putting everything in my big bag, like down there, you know, um, it's, it's right at my hip, literally. So I can just, you know, take out whatever I need. Um, and this brand, for any of you who are interested, it's, it's uh, Famina. It's an L.A. brand. Um, Speaking of uh, shopping local and supporting local, she's an amazing, like, you know, uh, designer here. F-A-H-M-I-N-A, -A, Femina. I've had this one for about five years, but she's still around. Um, another one is um, I never leave home with at least, without at least, like, 15 essential oils. Um, one of them is peppermint. Um, I use the... Um, well, really any brand is fine. I use the doTERRA brand a lot, and then there's this one, Young Living. Um, pep so the peppermint one that I have in my hand here. This one, um, sometimes I get headaches on, on the plane, and, uh, or if I just need to wake up a little bit, I just pour some you know, on, my, on my hand and smell it, and it's amazing. It, uh, it just literally within, for me anyway, the way my body responds to the peppermint in particular, um, within a couple minutes, not even, within like a minute, my, um, the headache goes away, I really do start to wake up, and I'm not a huge caffeine drinker, so this kind of helps me with that. Um, this one from Young Living, it's called Thieves, and I haven't washed my hands in a couple hours, this is like a five or six hour flight, I'll just put some of this, again it's called Thieves, literally like a thief, Thieves, um, and it smells like cinnamon, basically you just pour some on your hand, you just, you just rub your hands as you would like soap, and uh, it just cleans off sort of any bacteria, which is awesome. And then a couple of other things. I have like literally 10 more essential oils, but um, those are two of my favorite. Um, I never leave home without a lacrosse ball. I know it probably looks silly to some, 
but um, as an active person, like, you know, I work out pretty much every day. Um, you know, you have little knots and little things um, here and there, and so I will lay on the ground. I'm sure when we're at the beach, I'm, I'll lay in the, you know, at where we're staying, and I'll sort of like, you know, sort of massage out the, the knots. Um, I also sometimes sit on it because I've been having sort of like sciatica pain. So a lacrosse ball is awesome. Um, I never travel without at least one avocado um, uh, and then also just some healthy protein. Like there's this, at one of our local juiceries, we um, have this thing called the protein cookie. Um, and so I bought that and I have a lot more sort of food in there, like amino acids. So like if I, you know, I'm not able to eat breakfast first thing in the morning. I'll drink some of my amino acids that has some protein in it and some just healthy stuff. Um, and um, and there's a lot more that I could show. But we are boarding soon, so I'm going to bid you adieu, but not yet, not yet, not yet. Um, one experience that I am going to be creating for those of you entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, healers, creatives, um, women in corporate, women essentially who know, like know deep, 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 deep inside that you need to do business and life differently, that you want to be creating experiences for your clients and for your potential clients and that long are the days of, you know, just online program after online program. Again, for those of us listening who are entrepreneurs specifically, I know there's a lot of you here who are not business owners, but for those of you who are, um, I am going to be, or I am in the process of, and my, myself and my assistant are creating an experience that we are going to share with you on January 9th. It is a gift. I am gifting it to everyone who wants to participate. Um, it is, let me say this, I didn't want to say too much, but it is something that will happen in LA. It will be amazing because I love creating events and I do have a knack for creating really special events. So um, let's just say that it's it's going to be an amazing experience. If those of you, you know, for those of you listening who are entrepreneurs or aspiring to be, and you want to begin to really integrate um, everything that we talked about, like everything that I just shared today around experience, around and really just integrating sort of your your most full creativity, your spirituality, your multiple passions, and that you just want to do life and you want to do business differently, this is going to be a gift that you are going to love. And this is not your typical gift. This is not, again, a free ebook. This is not anything that you're going to just sort of receive in your inbox and then, you know, never look at it again. This will be something um, that you will uh, absolutely gain so much value from and that you will walk away with uh, feeling everything that I shared about in, you know, shared at the beginning of this live, this live stream, feeling that you just directly participated in your life and that you are leaving with more wisdom and more knowledge around how to actually not only express yourself um, you know, to, uh, to a more honest degree, meaning to a more full degree, like I think so many of us in this life are walking around and expressing ourselves, you know, if it's from one to 10, let's say, we're expressing ourselves maybe a four, you know, a three, maybe if we're doing it on a good day, we're a five. And so this experience that I'm creating um, for those of you who will join, uh, excuse me, who will be part of my, who are part of my community already, and if you're not, I'll put the link below of how you can, um, you know, hop onto our community list, our guest list essentially, and on January 9th you will find out um, all the detail about what this experience is all about. But in short, because um, we're about to, to head out now, um, again, just really remembering that experience is really where it's at for you, for you feeling alive in your body, for your cells to be jumping and excited and again, having perspective that they didn't have before the experience, um, that, you know, that this is something to, you know, to, to give yourself the, um, the okay on, meaning like that 2018 and even right now today, you don't have to wait for 2018, um, that right now and today is really the time to create more experiences for yourself and for your family. And that, you know, again, if you're a business owner and an entrepreneur like me, um, that really we are also being called very much so to create those same experiences for our clients. Um, and again, long are the days of the eBooks and the virtual programs. I mean, again, they still totally work. I do them still a lot. Um, but my point being that 
the, that's not what is vibing, that, that, that is not what people are vibing high about. They are vibing high about seeing you in person. They are vibing high um, about you know experiencing something alongside you and experiencing something for themselves so that they walk away feeling richer, so that they walk away you know, um, again, with this perspective, with this energy, and with this shift inside of themselves that helps them see their life in a whole new way so that they can live it in a whole new way. Oh, and the last two things that I do not leave without are Joshi and Noli. <laughs> I don't leave home without them either. I forgot to show you guys. Yes, it's essential oils, my lacrosse ball. What else did I show you? My little fanny pack, but I definitely don't leave home without these two either. What? You said it wasn't a fanny pack. Yeah, it's not a fanny pack. What would you call this? A cute purse. A cute purse. Hip he calls purse. it a hip purse. <gasps> double. Is that a double entendre? What is this? <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you so much, guys, for uh, for hopping on with me today. I love um, I love connecting. I uh, love experiences. Again, we're hopping on this plane to go to Guatemala now. Um, happy New Year if we don't chat with you then, you know, until then. Uh, I know Josh and I will be doing live streams while we're gone, and I'm sure I will be sharing some thoughts as well. So uh, for those of you who hopped on late, definitely check out the beginning of the, the live stream around experience. And I'm gonna, again, I'm going to pop the link below if you're not already on my, um, my community list. You'll definitely want to be on it because, again, on January 9th, I'm going to be sharing with you uh, an experience that is going to cost you nothing, um, but is going to fill you uh, with everything um, that you, and when I say everything, I mean um, everything that maybe you feel that you have been downplaying, everything that you feel, uh, you know, sharing exactly who you are, it's going to fill you with that feeling of everything, with that light inside, again, with that desire to, um, you know, really say to yourself, no, I, I'm actually going to go full, um, full force, you know, full force, um, 100 miles an hour in, in the most graceful way towards my dreams and towards a life that is filled with so much joy, re regardless of what you've been through. So um, with that, Happy New Year. We will chat with you from Guatemala. And as always, enjoy your business and enjoy your life.